Yeah, I, I envision moving a lot of my garden uh, closer to uh, shrinking it a bit um, with uh, edible bushes along the pathways and uh, making the pathways be more clear and easier to uh, walk upon and um, have edible berries along the way. I want to prune the two apple trees and they've been talking to me already this spring and uh, they, uh, they have been telling me that uh, they love me and care for me and that's an amazing thing. Never had that happen before. Um, I'm excited about the herbs that, are, that grew up there last year and uh, they're uh, ready to help me and, uh, and help others too. So uh, I envision it, uh, kids to be uh, playing in the playground this summer. And um, I envision, uh, even saw how to make a pizza oven in, in, uh, in the earth the other day. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't get uh, a couple friends, uh, Kyle and a couple other friends, and see if we can't have a pizza oven making party and make some gourmet pizza out in the backyard. But everything's changing. Everything's changing from the head to the heart. And I feel lots and lots of mud right here, but lots and lots of love right here too. It's happening. It's getting bigger. I know this looks like a mess right now, and it, and it is a mess, but it's going to be beautiful. That's the way the goal is. And I can, I can see it. One of the plants that's going to make it really beautiful is there's going to be some comfrey here and there, and uh, lavender, and uh, uh, some sage, and all sorts of yellow and, uh, well, I'd like every color of the rainbow. Uh, purple cone flowers are already growing down there and I'd like to get them up here. And uh, every color of the rainbow. So, uh, it's mud now, but it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's gonna be beautiful. And I can just about see it and hear it and the birds are gonna love it. The cardinals already love it and I feel spring coming. Mud! <laughs> Good soil. One of the things that uh, I love to do is make soil and uh, table scraps and coffee grounds and uh, 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 Oh, paper, office paper, and, and then some red wiggly worms, and you've got uh, soil that's black and uh, uh, good for growing these herbs, and the herbs just love it, and um, I'm looking forward to the wonderful, wonderful uh, new season of spring and new growth, and it's on its way. But... <laughs> yeah. I should be making that earth oven right now. This is clay, it's almost like concrete. Look at all the flowers that are gonna grow here. Well, right now it just looks like a big mess. <laughs> Gotta get this out of the way so I can be ready to plant the seeds. And that's just around the corner. Those seeds in there are already getting excited. I feel like they're already talking. There, there really is a rhyme and reason to all this, although it, you might say, what is it? But uh, there is a plan. <laughs> well, it's not quite spring, but it's getting here. <laughs> At least the snow is... Uh, you know, when it leaves, it's going to leave this 
soil nice and ready for uh, nice and wet. You won't have to water it for a while. Ah, well, there's 15 or 16 terraces that go down this uh, peace garden, and uh, I'm uh, excitedly uh, envisioning that uh, hibiscus will be in blossom before too long. Well, it's a few weeks away, but uh, I'm going to put the vegetables down here in the midst of some of the herbs, and, and some of the uh, perennial herbs are lavender and lemon balm and sage and yarrow, and uh, um, I think that they're, oh yeah, echinacea. And uh, it's just so exciting to know it's all growing all around us. And Sue's uh, lilac bush is right back there next to the peace uh, flag. And as you can see, all the, the bottle garden that she started is behind that. And then there's two different terraces behind that that lead up to the apple tree. And uh, I'm working on trim it, pruning the apple trees here too, this, uh, before the snow is all gone but I can already see some fern-like growth underneath the snow. So I know that the green is about as anxious to grow as, as I am to see it grow. So uh, it's an exciting time of year and the birds are singing and uh, peace is the way and uh, lots of light will be all, is all around us already, every color of the rainbow. And I celebrate it and I'm grateful for it and, uh, and uh, I deeply appreciate all the people that uh, will come and help me celebrate it. We shouldn't use the word weeds because weeds is a word that we use when we just don't know what the name of and use of the, the plant is. And it may be an herb that uh, uh, in some ways uh, gives us strength or it may be a, a, a prairie grass that, that helps the, keep the soil from eroding or maybe it's fixi fixing nitrogen in there. And uh, hey, it all works together and together uh, we celebrate all of these uh, plants. Uh, so I'm trying hard not to, to uh, use that word weed. So if you ever hear me say it, um, it's, because, uh, uh, it's because I slipped, but uh, you'll hear it less and less. And uh, together they make up the home that, uh, and give us, they have things to offer us, every single one of them. So I celebrate that today. Yeah, space of love domain. It's a place where um, all, the, all the people that love me and that I love can come and be safe and enjoy life and uh, walk our talk when we say peace is the way and uh, celebrate. Celebrate life and be grateful for it. I'm learning all the time. I, I use the word sustainable but I've learned that resilience is even uh, even uh, maybe a, even uh, better or at least complementary because that means we can uh, we can uh, bounce back if we lose one crop of one kind of uh, all the tomatoes we will you know we'll be growing so much more of so much else that uh, you know we're resilient and uh, so that's that's uh, the joy of it one of the joys too that is going to happen is that I can see I envision the waterfall that's going to be right behind where you're at and it's going to come from the roof on the, from the rain barrels in a line all the way there to the waterfall and there's going to be a little pond down there between the flags and that's kind of exciting. I think of the frogs and the toads and uh, the water life that will uh, enjoy that. So it's getting more exciting all the time. As I look and see the different colors, I just realized that uh, everything out here is a part of uh, part of nature, and nature has got so many gifts to give us to to heal and to help us to be whole and strong and live in peace with each other. And uh, the joy is is that I feel the energy of this uh, uh, increasing. And it's getting stronger and stronger. The more I focus on the love and the goodness, uh, the love and the goodness get get uh, bigger and expand. And uh, even as this garden has expanded from a, a small little heart-shaped garden 
to now from down to the road all the way back up to the apple trees and beyond and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to elderberries and raspberries and uh, as well as the tomatoes and, and uh, peppers and eggplants that will grow down there next to the a whole array of echinacea and hibiscus and uh, uh, lavender and sage and uh, oh it just goes on and on but uh, my goal is to allow nature to be its beautiful self and uh, let nature be a part of nature as uh, nature has its way. Last night I was sitting in the armchair and I was envisioning what it's going to be like out here as time goes on and I can uh, I can envision uh, many, many people out here and there's drumming and uh, uh, as I was sitting in the chair last night and it was so quiet in the, in the room, I, I burned a little bit of sage and all of a sudden I could just shut my eyes and I could see the fire pit and I could see a shaman or a medicine man standing behind the fire pit and, uh, and then I was watching the smoke go up into the air and the different strands of smoke were joining up with each other and it just felt like a, you know, just such a grateful, uh, wonderful experience and it was just awesome.